gonna fuck. <laughs> Ow! Oh my god. Fuck. Fuck. She's gone. I think he's gone. I'm gonna keep recording. Just in case he comes back. This way. Oh. oh. This way. If I get killed, you'll know what happened to me. Two months ago, I was living in Queens, and my sister Meg is like, it's not safe for you in New York, Sandra. You gotta come down to Virginia. And so I did. And now I'm being chased in the woods by a fucking bear. Tweak my ankle. God damn it. I mean, it's really nice of Meg to put me up. But I'm looking at the numbers and the curves in New York, and now it's, it's like. Whoosh. Down here, though, these numb nuts are like, Hey, let's all go to the beach. It's Sunday. Hey, guys, let's all go to church and hug each other like Jesus intended. And the stores were all open. And I'm like, What the fuck, Meg? She says it's, it's still safer than New York, which I'm pretty sure it's not, actually. I'm trying to stop. My nerves are totally shot. Hmm. So, this morning, Meg says, you know we have all those woods up behind the house. You should go on a little hike. Which, like a moron, I did. And I'm traipsing around out here like I'm Daniel fucking Boone or some shit. Mm. The woods. Oh, look at the trees. Mm. Fresh air. So I get my phone out to start recording. And then this ooh, giant black bear waddles out on the path. And I'm like, oh shit. And he's like, maybe 60 feet from me. And we're both staring at each other. So, right, I think, okay, stay calm, Sandra. You're a freaking Nat Geo super fan. You know what I do. You know what to do. 
So, I think right away, if he gets close, that I'm supposed to punch him really hard in the nose. And that'll, that'll disorient him. So, I make a fist. And then I think, no, actually, that's what you do if a shark attacks. Not a bear. You saw that on Shark Week. Fucking bonehead. So I'm going through the files in my head. And I'm thinking, well, you know, do I play dead? Do I stay on my ground? Do I climb a tree? But then, he takes a couple steps toward me, and I just go on autopilot. So, I raise my arms up, and to make myself as big as I possibly can, and I start screaming. Get lost, you fucking bear. I will destroy you, you motherfucker. Because I, I think I saw in some show this was a way to scare bears off. But it didn't seem like the bear saw that show. In fact, he didn't look scared. In fact, he looked pissed. And he starts charging at me. So that's when I took off. And then I'm going through this flash of memory. It's me and Megan. We were kids and we were on a camping trip with, uh, we were on a camping trip with, uh, our dad. And his voice is like Obi-Wan in my head. Remember, girls, if you ever get... Remember, girls, if you ever have to run away from a bear, run downhill because their front legs are shorter and they can't go as fast. So I just veer off the path and start barreling down this hill, but the bear is following me. And the hill seems to be giving it some momentum because he's gaining ground. And then I think, oh, that's right. My dad was not Obi-Wan. He's a fucking schizophrenic drummer with a very serious drug problem. And he always gave terrible advice. <laughs> point I'm sure I'm gonna die and I start going through all the bad choices that I've made in my life especially in the last two months because when Meg invited me down here part of me actually thought this could be good Sandra you could get a fresh start you know go to Virginia clear your head you could do some journaling or yoga, quit smoking, eat better, go for walks in the woods. As I was running from that bear, I realized what a fucking ridiculous idea is that. I don't like to journal or do yoga. And I just can't change who I am. Corona is a virus. For God's sake, it's not a cure. Then I start thinking about Meg finding my body parts scattered all over the forest and how she's gonna have to post something on Facebook that says I've passed away and everybody's gonna be all like, oh no, poor Sandra. Was it the COVID? 
And Meg will say, nope. Bear attack. And there's no doubt in my mind that several friends will think that this is a joke. And they will write very funny, but inappropriate comments before they realize that Meg isn't kidding. <laughs> and in the midst, midst of all these thoughts, I notice that I don't hear the bear behind me anymore. He's gone. Maybe he got tired or lost interest or what? <laughs> honey, I don't even know where I am right now. Maybe Meg will send out a search party for me. But I'll tell you one thing. If I do get out of here, I'm going straight back to New York. First thing. Because, I mean, say what you want about a pandemic, but there are bears in a store.